Today on Your Retro Repair we have a Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus with a suspected lower RAM fault. We're gonna get it up and running with some Q&A with the owner along the way. This machine's owner started out with a grey 128k plus 2 back in the late 80s. Bought by his parents as a Christmas gift with a black and white Ferguson 38030 TV. In the early 90s he would go to car boot sales with his brother looking for anything Spectrum related they could find. Eventually, over the years, it all either got thrown away or given away. Let's take this one apart and have a look what we've got. The case seems to be in really good condition and the board itself seems to be fine with no weird mods. To mark the occasion of my first repair job, I put a brand new tip on the soldering iron and bought some new solder to go with it. A quick composite mod allowed me to see the video output on my computer. It does look like a memory fault, an IC7 was suspected, but I don't think that's the case, I think it's an upper memory fault, because IC7 seems to be doing what it's supposed to do based on the pattern that we saw, and the smart card has told us that IC20 is suspected, and that is an upper memory chip. So let's get that memory out, and ask the owner what was your favourite specy game, and what a great answer. Jetpack. And the final question, what's the story behind this machine? The owner tells me he's rekindled his love for this great system, hence why he's bought this one. It's not the plus two that he had, but he can't afford one of those yet due to the current prices for these on eBay. Maybe one day he'll grab one, but for now this is going to bring back some great memories. There's our new RAM chip fitted, and a heatsink on the ULA to prevent it from overheating in future. One of the keyboard rows wasn't working so a new membrane had to be fitted. And finally, as is standard, all of the capacitors were replaced with new blue ones. And there we have it, working like a charm. I want to say thank you for trusting me with your machine and I hope you get years of enjoyment out of it. If anybody else needs a machine looking at, don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks for watching.